My name is Dr. Chaim Locker and I'm a cardiac surgeon at the Department of Cardiovascular Surgery at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester and an assistant professor of surgery at the Mayo College of Medicine. The article my colleagues and I are publishing at the Mayo Clinic Proceedings is entitled Repeat Coronary Bypass Surgery or Percutaneous Coronary Intervention After Previous Surgical Revascularization. The study is the result of a successful collaborative effort of the Departments of Cardiovascular Surgery and the Department of Cardiovascular Diseases and involved both surgeons and cardiologists. The main takeaway message of the article is that repeat coronary revascularization with repeat coronary artery bypass grafting, cabbage, is associated with improved overall long-term survival in patients after a previous cabbage compared with percutaneous coronary intervention, PCI, and especially compared with PCI involving bypass grafts. As an overview of our findings, our objective was to assess the long-term survival with cabbage compared to PCI in patients who underwent a previous cabbage we hypothesized that repeat cabbage may confer a long-term survival benefit compared with PCI. This would contradict the current available literature which suggests that early mortality is higher with repeat cabbage compared to patients having PCI, but long-term results of the two procedures are similar. Hence, consequently, the rates of repeat cabbage have declined dramatically over the last two decades. We analyzed the records of 1,612 Mayo Clinic patients with a previous cabbage who underwent repeat revascularization between the years of 2000 to 2013. Of those, 215 patients underwent repeat cabbage and 1,397 patients PCI. We further stratified the repeat cabbage cohort by the use of saphenous vein grafts only versus additional arterial grafts and the PCI cohort was stratified by the use of bare metal stents versus drug eluting stents and also by the treated target of PCI into the native coronary arteries, bypass grafts only or both. We used both multivariable regression and propensity score analysis to analyze and match the patients. We found that in multivariable analysis, indeed, the 30-day mortality was increased in repeat cabbage versus PCI patients. But overall survival after 30 days improved with repeat cabbage significantly, hazard ratio of 0.72 and p-value 0.01. We found that internal mammary arteries were used in 61% of previous cabbage patients undergoing repeat cabbage and in 84% of previous cabbage patients treated by PCI. And this independently improved survival significantly. There was no difference in survival between the patients receiving a saphenous vein graft versus IMA graft during the repeat cabbage because most of patients receiving saphenous vein graft only at their previous cabbage received an IMA at their repeat cabbage. As for the PCI cohort, patients treated with drug eluting stents had clearly a better 10-year survival, 0.74 hazard ratio, than those with bare metal stents alone. This finding is also important as this comparison between PCI with bare metal stent versus drug eluting stents in saphenous vein grafts is also still debated in literature. In matched patients, we found that repeat cabbage patients had improved late survival over patients treated with PCI, 48% for repeat cabbage versus 33% for PCI, hazard ratio 0.57 at 10 years of follow-up, and survival curves cost around one year of follow-up. Importantly, we also found that compared to repeat cabbage, patients with PCI involving, involving bypass grafts had increased late mortality, whereas those having PCI of the native coronary arteries only did not. 
Previous studies have suggested higher early mortality with repeat cabbage compared to PCI and similar long-term survival. Most investigations were based on older patient cohorts. This manuscript describes our experience with a topic that we believe provides valuable information to physicians who manage patients with coronary artery disease. The new and important findings from the study are that in patients with multivessel coronary disease after previous cabbage, surgical repeat revascularization is associated with improved long-term survival and there appears to be major impact of the target vessel revascularized by PCI. PCI and saphenous vein graft carry significantly less favorable results. These results contrast with previous reports on repeat cabbage versus PCI in patients after previous cabbage. Our findings are supported by recent randomized controlled trials published in literature showing inferior results with PCI in saphenous vein graft. Of note, the last paper comparing repeat cabbage versus PCI in patients with previous cabbage was published more than a decade ago by Brenner and colleagues from the Cleveland Clinic in the European Heart Journal in 2006. The purpose of our study was to review our own outcomes with contemporary revascularization methods between 2000 to 2013 in all consecutive patients with multivessel disease who required repeat coronary revascularization after previous cabbage, an era when stents and distal embolic protection were widely usable in PCI and compared with the modern surgical techniques, including arterial bypass grafting. In current practice, percutaneous coronary intervention is considered by many to be the first option for patients who have medically refractory symptoms after previous cabbage. This practice was based largely on data that repeat cabbage is associated with higher procedural risk than PCI, but similar long-term outcomes. Our data from both the overall cohort of patients and the propensity match subgroup demonstrate a clear overall survival benefit of repeat cabbage. Compared with patients treated with PCI, the hazard of late death was reduced by 28% in patients having repeat cabbage, and survival at 10 years after repeat cabbage reflected a 15% absolute improvement over PCI. This potential survival advantage should be considered by the HART team in the selection of revascularization treatment options after previous cabbage, especially in patients who require intervention on diseased saphenous vein grafts. Additionally, it seems important for guidelines to consider the need for intervention on saphenous vein grafts in view of improved outcomes with repeat cabbage. The data also implies that repeat cabbage may be significantly underutilized in current practice. There are two important points for patients. One, overall long-term survival after previous cabbage may be improved with repeat coronary artery bypass grafting compared with percutaneous coronary intervention, largely because of decreased survival of patients who undergo percutaneous coronary intervention of diseased grafts. Number two, the use of an internal mammary artery in your previous cabbage is strongly and independently associated with improved survival in repeat revascularization. To the best of our knowledge, there is no such contemporary comparison between repeat cabbage and PCI in literature and this could be an important reference for future investigations of repeat coronary revascularization. Further studies are required to assess long-term outcomes of different repeat revascularization strategies. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is 
www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about health care at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.